So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to take some big breaths. It's definitely higher than it's been um, during other points in the pandemic. So, you know, our office, we're seeing a ton of um, especially younger children coming in uh, with coughs, colds, ear infections, pneumonia. <laughs> More colds and also more cases of the flu. According to Health Canada's most recent weekly influenza report, since the beginning of April, detections of influenza have sharply increased, meeting seasonable thresholds. They say just under 5,000 laboratory cases were detected between April 17th and May 7th. The majority were people under the age of 45. The mask mandate has been dropped. People might not be hand sanitizing as much. Was this expected? I do think that um, wearing a mask helps to prevent uh, not only COVID, but um, other upper respiratory tract infections. And, and so we did see that throughout the pandemic, that when we wore masks, we saw less infections. So definitely as soon as we start taking off our mask, we will see more coughs, colds, um, and other infections. Mississauga family physician Dr. Sohal Goyle says pre-pandemic people would often go into work sick with a brave face and a suck it up mentality. And while that shouldn't have been happening before, it certainly shouldn't happen now. <laughs> what COVID has taught us that is that we need to change our culture when it comes to coughs and colds because, you know, even a regular cold pre-COVID, we could pass it on to our friends and co-workers and we certainly don't want to do that. And right now, if you have a cold, it certainly could be COVID. While Dr. Goyle says majority of people do just fine after getting the flu or cold, for now, it's a good idea to play it safe. We don't want people to think that they only have a cold. I would rather you assume that you have COVID and you stay home and you rest and you get better just to prevent your friends and colleagues from getting sick from you because you don't know if that person sitting next to you in that desk at work um, has a vulnerable person at home or they themselves are vulnerable. Dr. Goyle reminds the general public to eat well, exercise, get plenty of sleep and wash your hands frequently in order to maintain a healthy immune system. For City News, I'm Malia Sheikh.